Patrick Cook here. Welcome to session number 26 of our Mandel, Mandelbulb 3D Epic Rendering Tutorial Series. Um, we were talking about tiling uh, in the last session. I was basically saying that I go for the quantity of tiles, all right, the, the, the horizontal and the vertical quantity, the matrix, the grid, uh, that would get me about one third of what I know, based upon my experiments up here, that my particular machine can handle comfortably uh, the memory allocation, okay? All right, and we talked about the Z buffer a little bit, the save M3i files, those depending upon your application, what you're trying to do. Let's pop up here a bit. Let's talk about uh, scale DE stop to keep color and detail level. Now, if you, uh, if you go back to my tutorial series number one, where we did that big animation project, I talked about the DE stop quite extensively. And we also did some work on this one uh, sessions back where we were, we were fine tuning the DE stop, all right? So you know that the DE stop, or I think you have a pretty good sense, that the DE stop has a lot to do with quality, the detail of your, of your, of your image. It also has a lot to do with color, all right? Um, if your DE stop is, is crazy off, well, your colors are going to be wrong too. One of the advantages of getting your DE stop like up in here to getting it really close is that you've got, you've got, uh, you've got your best possible color integrity of the image. But what happens is when, when, the, when, you, when Mandelbulb is rendering each of these tiles, all right, uh, uh, make this one tile. Now that one tile is going to have, it's going to have certain, it's going to have uh, either nothing, no, no Mandelbulb, or it's going to have part of a Mandelbulb object. That Mandelbulb object in there is going to be calculated by the DE stop, amongst other things. All right. And what you're doing by having that scale DE stop checked on is you're telling Mandelbulb that as it renders, for it to go ahead and determine what that DE stop should be in that tile to, uh, to optimize or keep the color as close as possible. Personally, I don't know any reason why you would ever uncheck that. I suppose that there are. But any time that you have, a, uh, you have a, a big image that's been being cut down into smaller images, your whole DE uh, calculation has to begin all over again for each tile. Tile, 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 you see? Tile, tile, tile. And what you're telling... Mandelbulb with that checkbox is you go ahead and you decide what the best DE stop is in those circumstances for each of the individual tiles. Mandelbulb doesn't know anything other than a tile when you hit render and each of those tiles are rendered. It doesn't know about the big picture anymore. All it knows about is that tile. So I have found that keeping that scale DE stop checked on, uh, first of all, does a very good job. And secondly, it, 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 it helps to optimize my whole rendering so that I don't have uh, problems where one of the tiles isn't consistent in color to the next tile, to the next tile. You don't want inconsistent colors because it's gonna show up. 
in your final merge. All of a sudden you've got you've got a tile up there or a section of your merged that's that's kind of weird you don't want that all right so uh i recommend keeping that checked on but hey experiment experiment try it uh try it checked off try it checked on learn see what's good for you all right now i can send the parameters that I adjust, I can send those back to the main program. Um, if I'm down in here and uh, I my scale factor, all right, uh, or I'm I'm down here in my JPEG and and the Z buffer, I can send those back to the main program. The main program doesn't care about tiles, but it does care about some of the other. Um, settings so you can send it back personally i don't really see the need all right but you have that capability uh now uh you can save the project as a matter of fact you have to save the project the project meaning the big render project uh you save it all right uh, okay, now that's that's a message. We're going to talk about that in a minute here. I'm going to say, no, don't do that. All right, so there's going to be, I'm going to save it to the big render, and I'm going to call it Alien um, Plant Life. All right, and that is going to be, that's going to have an extension called Big. All right. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay. Alien Plant Life Big. I'm going to say Big. Okay. And it'll have an extension. Called, I can't even spell here. It'll have an extension called Big. So there. Now the Big project is saved. And that will allow you to render. Okay. I can also open a project. A Big project. So there we go. So I can come in there. Alien Plant Life Big right there. I could open it there if I wanted to. I don't need to. It's all here. Um, when you're when you're in here adjusting everything, save often. I haven't I haven't personally witnessed uh, crashes of the big, uh, but don't take any chances. Save often, especially when you've come up here and you've given this all this thought. Save the project and then move on to other things. All right. It's always better to save often. Easy enough to save. All right. All right. Now, all right. We need to talk about something else. But I've got a minute or two left in this session. So let me drop all the way down here. The bottom here. When I go to render this, it's going to start rendering at the tile that I've selected. And the auto render all following tiles, that's typically what you want. Because you want it to just render tile one, tile two, tile three, and then go tile and then row two, one, two, three. You don't want it to render and then you have to punch render again and punch render again. Let it just let it go. Okay? So that's what that auto means. You also have the ability to render uh, between a, a tile number, let's say tile number five, five, all right, to tile number, I don't know, 12, okay? So I would render this tile, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, eh, eh, okay? So I have that ability to render only a certain range of tiles, all right? Uh, and uh, also, if you close this, you haven't damaged anything uh, because it remembers your configuration when you open the, the big render window again. Obviously, if you were to close that and close Mandelbulb and you hadn't saved the big render, render project, you would lose that configuration. It'd be reset to uh, the default. Okay. All right, I think that covers everything in here except for another topic that we need to talk about 
which is going to be um, uh, it's uh, important. We'll talk about that in the next session. That is going to be ambient shadows. I'll see you in the next session.